Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Alex the Blind Guido, the one and only, here again, and we are on another adventure. Yet yeah, when I say we, I mean you and I mean me. Are at Hof on a beautiful day, Dublin County. Pick the fishing spot, which is pretty much the end of the pier. End of the pier and the lighthouse is right there. That's the island and the conditions are looking beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So what I've done, I've hooked up my cheapest beach caster I could find on Amazon. I changed the line, just put some 20 pound yellow braid, mainly for visual purposes. Rig that up with some mackerel feathers that I've certainly had my use out of to the smallest beach casting weight I could find. And now I am going to take my bait. I have some ragworm in here. First thing I'm gonna do is get some fresh seawater on them. See if we can revitalize them, keep them alive and keep them fresh. And I also have a little bit of frozen sand eel just for good measure. Stay tuned, let's see what we get. Everything I need with me to stay for as long as the fish are biting. I've got my tent, my sleeping mat. I've got a sleeping bag in there. I think I just had a little knock on it already. Six hooks, put a little bit of ragworm on each one and I threw it just maybe maximum 20 meters. Yep, that's a bite. That's a bite. Something has took me into the rocks. Not the best start, but I was slow off the mark with that one. Let me see if I can go down and get it. Freed it, but I've lost the fish. Gonna chuck it straight back out, see if we can get another one. Well, I didn't get a fish on the first cast, but I got a bite, and that's good enough for me because I have plenty of time. I've got all the time in the world. So we'll just wait until they come back. We'll try it again. I think what I'm gonna do as well, in the meantime, I'm gonna take my bait box and I might just stick it in one of the rock pools to keep it a bit cooler have it right there next to the water. So next time I pull my line in, I can refresh all the bait on it. Do you know what I'm gonna do as well? I'm gonna switch to head cam. That way you won't miss a thing. There we go. Welcome to my head. On the third cast now. Lucky cast number three. Say that was just something small nibbling there. That duck's diving there, it best not be diving for my bait. Definitely had another bite then. Seems like we might be dealing with smaller fish. Cast number four. Just got slammed and they've gone into a rock. Ah, I think he came off. Oh no, I've got one on. Feels like I got my first fish, maybe. No, he's come off, he's come off. Or has he, is it something small maybe? Ah, there we go, what is it? Ah, it's a little uh, ras. No, it's not a ras. It is. Nice little ras. Fourth cast. I don't know if there's any size limits on ras. As long as they're not, I'm going to cook him for me dinner. So I'm just going to uh, unhook him and do a quick Google search on ras and see what the size limits are. Unfortunately, the size limit is 30 centimeters and he is not 30 centimeters so he'll be going back oh he just shat on me go on little dude grow up come back that was a nice first fish very pretty one Got a nice shine to it, that law, that spinner. Evening guys, 
since that ras earlier today the fish just stopped biting completely so i've moved locations now moved out to the end of the pier i'm casting into deeper water here so i'm gonna see if that yields anything i also changed to like from feathers to more of a sabiki type of rig a big sabiki at that and i changed from ragworm to sand eel let's see how that goes even if we catch nothing it's just so gorgeous out here this is what it's all about look at that gonna give it another hour or so and then i'm gonna uh go grab some food and i'm gonna go and set my tent up on the beach around the corner and i'm gonna do some night fishing stay tuned right that's it i'm calling it i've had my line out there for ages now i've had my bait and none of it's been touched so calling it a day gonna go into health find a little snack maybe a bag of doritos or something have a little poke around and see what's going on in health tonight So here's where I find myself in a predicament. That little ras that I caught, I would have eaten that. I would have, I have no problems eating small fish. In fact, I think they're tastier. But the problem is that the oceans are on their knees right now. They're absolutely depleted because of the fishing industry. Not enough fish out there. I did a little search, Google search with Molly. And it turns out that everything's going extinct except for pollock and mackerel and even there, at long-term danger, you know, within our lifetime or within a hundred years or whatever. So, I took a vow that the only time I eat meat is when I catch it myself, which means that as much as I'd love to go to a restaurant here in Hove and order myself a nice, um, what would I order myself if I could? I'd go with a swordfish steak right now, that's what I'd have right now. But they're endangered, because humans just overfish all the time. So I took a vow that the only time that I'll consume meat is when I've caught it myself. And of course, I need to follow the regulations. So the ras had to be 30 centimeters, and it was, you know, probably just under 20. So I had to put it back. But I encourage everybody to do what I do. Stop eating meat. Stop, because I'm not got anything against eating meat. I love meat. We've been eating it for thousands of years. And in all honesty, I think the vegans are probably wrong. We should be eating meat, but we shouldn't be destroying the planet. And we should be living sustainable. Boom, bap, original wrap. Who needs spring rolls when you can have a vegetarian pizza? Quick scran. Quick cheeky bottle of coke and we're off to find the beach to get sandy. I cannot wait to live on one of them. I'm also just scouting here because I can't wait to do a bit of mullet fishing. Not seen anything yet though. I also made a little friend. Ah, oh, he just got had. He deviled me. God, I'm surrounded. Let's see if we can get him to eat on my palm. He's not camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> I ate that whole pizza and that little blackbird at the whole, all the crusts, which I thought was quite amazing because it's only small. And I also had an interesting thought that I thought I'd share is because I didn't catch any nice fish, I wanted to go and eat a nice big swordfish steak. But the reason that I didn't catch any fish is because too many people want to eat the swordfish steak without going and catching them themselves. So, instead of getting a swordfish steak, I got the vegan pizza, which means that next time I go fishing, which is right now, I'm gonna catch a swordfish. Home for the night. 
It's this nice little pebble beach here. First thing I did is throw out the rod, of course, because it's the most important thing in the world. First cast, got myself a nice little stone crab, or some kind of crab. I'm not sure exactly what kind of crab it is, but it's definitely too small. And it's missing a claw. But yeah, that was nice. First, you know, first cast, you see a bit of life. It's never a bad thing. And I watch this guy take off now. I think he ain't gonna play no games. That was on a little bit of a uh, sand deal. Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, you know what? I bet there's loads of crabs out here. This is prime crab territory. I bet that's the first of many. Anyway, get the rod back out. And at the back of the beach, I'm gonna set up my little tent for the night. Nice. Oh man, it's gonna be a beautiful view when I wake up tomorrow morning and unzip my tent. That is the end of day one in Hof. Boy, what a day. I am absolutely knackered. So glad to be in my tent right now. But before I go to sleep, I just got enough time for one more of Loy's hot tips and tricks. And that is, take little zip ties, thread them through the eyes of your tent zips like that, and you made a little makeshift shift lock. But whatever you do, make sure your knife is inside your tent or your scissors so you can open it again. Cause you'd be in big trouble if you forgot to do that. Night guys. Good morning world. Had a 10 out of 10 sleep last night, but um, a bit too good. I slept in a little bit. Let's see what's going on out here today. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I knew it would be. Look at that, a beautiful day. And we've got nothing to do but fish. I think today I'm gonna go over that way, try and look off the cliff edge. Okay, off we go. This is gonna be the chosen rock. Let's hope the tide doesn't come in any higher. I could get myself in trouble here. We're not too far offshore, we'll be all right. You gotta try all variations. So first I'm gonna try jigging my rig. Jigging these sabikis and see if there's any pollock. But it looks very murky today. You know what, unfortunately, I'm just not feeling this fishing spot. I was planning to spend a day on these rocks, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I'll spend an hour. If there's no bites, I think I'll head back to the harbor. Putting a little bit of sand deal on each hook, just to add scent to the visual. I nearly cast it some swimmers and I got my hook stuck. Not a good start. New plan. I'm gonna go and pack up. I'm gonna go into town and have a coffee. We're gonna hit the harbour and see what's going on there. Oh, look at this, guys. There's fresh water running straight out of the rocks. Loads of it, too. I have a full bottle still, but if I needed it, it's actually quite rare that you find fresh water so close to the ocean. Usually it's all salty or dirty, you know, run through a lot of land. But this, coming straight out the rock like that, you can trust that. Guaranteed to be clean. Tempted to get a bit. I might just top up my bottle. All packed up now. Let's head into town. Get a coffee. And uh, hit the harbour for some more fishing. Staircase to nowhere. Oh, it's a beautiful beach. Really enjoyed being on this beach. Definitely be back here. Hof, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful town. Oh yeah, are you open? Uh, no, we're gonna open at 10. Okay. So coffee? No, no coffee. No coffee. The current mission is 
trying to find a coffee in Hope. Ah, uh, Starbucks. Never lets you down. Um, a large cappuccino with a caramel shot and soy milk, please. Yeah. Thank you, miss. No Have a lovely day. That's the morning brew accomplished. Time to hit the harbour and make some sand eels fly. Here we are. It's shallow and it's very clear. So I'm going to chuck a spinner just because it's already rigged up. You never know. I mean, I don't see any fish. You never know what's lurking. But mainly, I want to put my sabiki rig on and see if there's any sand eels lurking. See if we can get some fresh bait. Let's go. On the end of the pier now, fishing the harbour entrance here. Goes to some deep water there. The wind's coming from behind me, which is why I chose this spot. And it's quite rough today, over the other side at least. I got two sand eels on the big rod. And I got some sand eel heads and tails on a sabiki rod, which is a smaller one. Small ones going that way, big ones going that way. And now let's just sit and wait, see if a big monster comes along and turns my rod into spaghetti. Two o'clock now. I just had the first bite of the day and it was a pretty good bite. I thought I had it hooked and halfway in, it spat the hook out. So I lost that one, but hopefully it's a sign of things to come because the tide's changed now, the tide's coming in. Hopefully the look's changing too. Something out there. I think it's a dolphin. Seal! Just poked its head out there. Oh, that's so cool. The fishing is dire today. I've not caught a thing. I've had one bite that was definitely a fish and I lost it. Except for that, I just have crabs. Crabs are just messing with my line every time I throw it in. But it's not my day. Gonna keep trying though, you never quit. I'm having a great time anyway. Still no bites. So here's what I'm thinking is going on. I think I'm casting into seaweed and my bait is hidden in the seaweed. The only things that are getting to it are crabs. So let's have a coffee. You can't fight things in life, you know? If the fish aren't biting, you gotta find other ways to enjoy the fishing trip. Oh, I'll show you what else is going on. I found this big piece of trolling net. So I'm gonna take it home. I'm gonna see if I can turn it into a hammock. It's took the weight test. Oh, it's a little bit narrow. That's about as good as it gets. <laughs> ah, so comfy. <laughs> it feels like a bit of a balancing act. It looks a bit more like a G-string than a hammock. You happy? I'm happy, it was worth a shot. I passed the <laughs> afternoon. Molly just confidently passed me her phone and said, hold this. She's gonna show me how it's done now. I do not feel safe. I mean, I'm in a hammock. I mean, it works well as a swing. G swing. <laughs> the G swing. The G swing. <laughs> Do you know what? Should we just leave it there? Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Woof. Whoa! That's why not. Hey. It's strange catching big fish or okay. cat. Any luck? Nothing, mate. Are you long, eh? I've tried everything. I've tried long in the middle, right here in front of the rocks. Are you here long? Oh yeah, I've been here two days. No one seems to be catching mackerel at the minute around yeah, here. Don't you? I don't know what's they're getting it in the be, north. That'd be all the yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, they're it's because of Dublin Bay and it's because of the power plant and all like this. Is that why? Oh, it's not so, coming like, around here, yeah. Like if, if you were to speak to my dad, he'd be telling you like fucking 10, 15 years ago, he'd be catching match mentally. Like, could have went out, you go fishing, you catch some every time you cast it out, like. Really? But like, it's, yeah. it's not the same. 
we 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 don't fish around there anymore. We just go to lakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah Where'd you get out there? The trout. Stuff. Uh, oh, we haven't caught pike. any trout on the lake, but pike, yeah. yeah. Pike all day long. Pike like, fishing's a good time. The, oh, just, the reason only, I don't fish around here is just, if it looks too busy, like the boat's coming in mm. and fucking, it's, like the fish don't want to be around here. Yeah, yeah, they stay scarce. Makes sense. If like this used to be the spot, yeah, no joke, like, I remember it's being a child. I remember being a child coming down here, like, there'd literally be 10 people over there. Oh, fucking, 10 people there, could be 10 people there, look. Like, really? On a day like today, look. Like, mm, it's All them boys, it, Going to eat our lakes, oh, yeah, or they're going up, up that way, or around the other side. Right, lads, hate to be what the one to call it, especially since I didn't catch the Hof heavyweight champion. But speaking to them local lads, that was the last draw, and I'm not catching the fish to prove it. So I'll be back. See you in the next one. Peace. Woo!